We'll be picking the winner of the camera giveaway, which is actually using this shot right here. I need to move that. These don't even work anymore. So um, that'll be towards the end of the video. So if you want to fast forward to the end of the video, it's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. Um, we've all been super busy. Uh, Seth and I are busy with school, and then Zach is just busy with work. So like we've had like no time to hang out. But luckily, uh, I know Seth and I both get a, uh, like a whole month for uh, winter break off, or at least I think he does. And yeah, we should be able to get a lot of content out. And not just that, uh, we are actually gonna have the funds to get a proper project car at the end of this month. Uh, probably sometime around Christmas. Personally, I wanna do an off-roading build. Like, don't get me wrong, like right now, the it's between either a drift car or an off-roading car. Off-roading vehicle, sorry. And don't get me wrong, I love drifting, I really do, but like, it's something, every YouTube channel that's like, related to like, what we do, it's something like, it's very common. I'm not, I'm not saying like, it's not fun, but off-roading on the other hand, it's, I think we would be able to, put, like, I want to put out some fresh content, I want to put out something new, and I'm not saying Pete, there's no channels that don't do off-roading. But most of the channels, like, you know, they're our age, around the same age, they're all doing drifting. So I, I kind of want to do something different. But drop a comment below, let me know what y'all think. Um, if we if we were to go the off-roading route, oh, my camera just fell. Let me adjust that. This fucking vehicle mount sucks. If we were to go the off-roading route, I want to get a Jeep. I want to get an old-ass Jeep. I think that'd be awesome. Don't hit that, guys. has a fucking house in the back of it. But um, like an old Jeep Cherokee, I found one. Uh, I found one on Craigslist. I believe it was a four liter, lifted, had uh, mud tires on it for eighteen hundred bucks. That's like right within our budget. But anyways, that's one option. And then if we're going drift car, I don't know what the hell we're gonna get. Um, Zach found an old Skylark, which to be honest with you guys, I didn't even know that was a thing. Bald eagles are screaming right now. Uh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know what kind of car that was. To be honest with you guys. But yeah, he found a Buick Skylark for like 2,500 bucks and uh, has a 454 swap in it. So it should be pretty quick, but I, I think that's more of a drag car than like a drift car, but it'd still be fun. Anyways, enough talking. The plan is we don't really have much to do, but I really, really want to put this sub back in the Impala. Uh, I know Seth had it set up that way and his cheap ass had to take it out whenever he gave it to me. Uh, I, th I think actually it came out whenever he did autocross. But anyways, I'm about to go buy a sub and uh, Cameron and I, may possibly Joe, are gonna go put one in. It's pretty much already wired for it. But the only the one thing that sucks about like this setup is it's using the OEM radio. And we're gonna show you guys how you can hook up a sub using like the OEM radio. Basically you have to use like an adapter and go into the rear speakers and go about like that. So that's the plan today. And then like I said, you can just skip to the end of this video for the giveaway results. So I'm gonna shut up, let's do this. All right guys, so we went to Walmart and a local uh, like speaker shop and we're, we're gonna be doing this for like around $100. Yeah. I already have the amp and most of the wiring. But anyways, what we got is we got a 12 inch sub that is rated to like 875 watts. It's a $30 Walmart special, this is a Walmart build. And then we got the Skosh, I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, 12 inch subwoofer enclosure kit, 35 bucks right there. Oh, and it just fell apart. So, this is really straightforward. We're gonna show you how to do it. Because real men don't need instructions, we're not using them. We're just kind of figuring it out. So, it's really simple. It's like a Lego or, you know, kid's toy, but it just you put it in like that, and then you fold this part up like so. And boom. And go ahead and put that side in. This one? Yeah. And then it has these really cheap, cheap like nail tabs. Are you putting it on the peg? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I wasn't sure if you did that. Oh, the, there's a peg. Oh, okay. So like, there's a little nipple that sticks up. I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think yours is in it. No, it is. I feel it. Okay. Yeah. Now this part is this is like it's hard to do everything at once. So screws for enclosure and assembly, and then we got what the fuck that is. So uh, it looks like those are Phillips. So let me get a Phillips screwdriver. Alright guys, on this particular box, they don't even give you the holes for the speaker. You have to kind of make your own endeavor. Joke. Joe, that joke's for you. But it's really simple. It's fucking carpet and like soft wood. Just get my shaky ass hands on that. Put some pressure into it. It's pretty simple. You don't even need a drill. You just need a simple screwdriver. 
All right, guys. So we got the box done, and I'm kind of pissed because I already bought that, and then we found out Seth already had this set up before. He took everything out. This was hidden away, which is exactly exactly what I just bought for 40 bucks. So I didn't even need it. And another thing is uh, Seth had some weird electrical issues, and if you guys can see that, that's not like that's that's not that what was, you think it that is. It was on fire. It caught on fire. It actually burned through the fucking insulation. I don't know if that's because he hooked it up wrong or what. It looks like it just got hot. The wires look good. Yeah. The wires are But fine. that definitely needs to be replaced. And then, as you guys can see, basically, if you have the stock radio, you have to hook it up to your speakers. And, yeah, and then it just wires into this thing. This thing costs, like, 40 bucks, and now I have two of them. I honestly might use the new one because this thing's probably toast. And you're not going to get to return the old one. No. Or the new one. And I need new RCA cables anyways. So, yeah, guys, um... Not quite sure all the funky wiring he has going here, but it looks like he's got two wires running to it. All right, so we got the power and the ground hooked up. The next step is to get your REM wire. Basically what this does is you you want to wire it to a power source that only comes on whenever you turn the car on. That way the amp knows when to turn off. So whenever you turn the car off and leave it, the amp doesn't stay on and drain the battery. So this this wire prevents that. It's basically a switch to tell the amp when to turn on, when to turn off. I don't just wire it to a switch. You could. You could. But then, you know, if you forget about it. The the most the easiest way to do it is just to wire it up to an existing fuse. So luckily on the Impala, the fuse box is right here. And you you have a couple different options on different cars, but I think what we're gonna do is there's a fuse right there for 25 amps. 25 amps for the amp. That's uh that's hard to say. But I'm, I'm assuming that's the stock radio, uh, that's the stock amp for the car. So we're going to go ahead and basically try to push this wire into where that fuse goes. It might be difficult, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, so this is the fuse for the stock amp, which is still going to be in use because the only thing we're doing is putting a sub in. Just stuck that wire for the amp in there, and it's going to piggyback off that fuse. And it should work now. So, what we're going to do... Let's go ahead and put that back. Now I do admit it would be better if we ran it like inside here, but just for now it's okay. So it's got a little wire sticking out right there. Alright guys, we got everything hooked up for the most part. One weird thing that I can't really tell you why, but I just know it works now. Uh, it works way better, and I'm sure a bunch of people in the comments are going to school me on this, but it works way better when you only have one RCA hooked up. Uh, hearing the music to the, yeah, to the whenever box. you have both channels of the RCA, like whenever you have both left and right hooked up to the amp, like the music comes through the sub and it just sounds really bad. It, there's no so, bass coming out of it basically. That exactly. So what, what we did is I just experimented with it. I just pulled one side out and it works like it's supposed to. So yeah, quick tip, just run one RCA and I'm sure someone's going to school, school us in the comments. but. It's Everyone's working great. Automatically professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there is that one true professional that's like, hey, this isn't, that's not fair. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what it sounds like. Uh, right now, I'm we're gonna like keep the carpet out of the trunk for the most part because yeah. it's really dirty. But we're experimenting with either the sub facing this way or facing towards us, like towards out of the trunk. And we're just trying to see which way sounds better. Hey, get some non-copyright music. Some what? Oh, no. Get, get some NCS up in here. That way I don't get copyrighted. Okay guys, so this is with the sub facing out the truck, the trunk. Can you really hear it? Not yet. It's pretty good, dude. I like it. It's man. pretty good. Yeah. It bumps, it definitely bumps. Good. I'm gonna piss my dad off so quick. So now, it's... guys, with like other songs, it's way louder because yeah. they actually have bass in them. We have to do non copyright music. All right, guys, so it looks like there's an issue. It looks like the amp is staying on. So, what, we're, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb the trunk, and the camera's gonna shut it. And then, yeah. So, I'm gonna... the lights are off, and it's still on. So, I'm gonna get in the trunk, lock it, see what happens. Bye, Gabe. All right, go for it. It's still on? Man. We're gonna have to wire a switch. That's fucking scary. This is the thumbnail right here. That's your first time being out of the, or like in a trunk? 
Okay guys, after a lot of troubleshooting, completely disregard what I said about the fuse box, we actually had to run it into the engine where like the big fuse box is. And the only fuse I found that worked, I didn't try all of them, I tried like three of them, uh, was the fuel pump. So we have it wired up to the 15 amp fuse right there. And it actually works as intended. Whenever you take the key out, yeah. the amp turns off. Whenever you turn the key on, amp turns on. So Jethro. Yeah, that's all we gotta do now. So last thing we gotta do is run the wire through the firewall and that should be it for wiring. All right guys, so that's it for the amp install slash sub. It works great, could be a little bit louder. We're gonna get Joe to look at it. We think it's the amp. Yeah, the amp's really cheap, but that's good. We're just gonna get some Velcro strips to secure it and yeah, it should be good. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, about to choose the winner. I don't know how many comments are on this thing. I think close to 700 comments. All right, there we go. 653 comments. So. Originally, I was planning on just like going through each and every one of y'all and entering your username into like a random username picker But then I just did a small like a quick Google search and this popped up. So yeah, we're just gonna copy and paste the URL real quick Do that and then put it here And we'll see what happens And this way it also um, makes sure there's no duplicate comments That'd be cheating. All right, here we go. And the winner is Manuel Klein. I don't know if I pronounced your name right. I apologize if I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and be sending you in a, a message on YouTube. Congratulations. And then I'll get in contact with you soon. So you just won the uh, Acaso camera. Let us know if you want us to autograph it or something stupid like that. So. All right, guys, there's the winner. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time. Peace. How are we doing? Okay, so Joe said if I drink this for like in its entirety, I would get four dollars. I, I don't know. If it's I the it's the red sauce from Chipotle. All of it, one go. For four dollars. Come just on, to throw up, dude. Come on, do it. Just do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Nah, that's not all of it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on now. It's not as bad as I thought it was. No, if we do some of this. Maybe.